As you can see, some progress has been made on the body. It has been primed white and painted white. Well, at least the white, the white part of the body that needed to be white has been painted white. Got that done yesterday, last night. Come back here. So it is ready to go. It has been done. So the next step, it doesn't necessarily maybe not look like it, but it has been painted white. Uh, the next step now is to get the body masked and do the primer for the red. I've already primered the hood and the rear spoiler with Tamiya Pink Primer. Just get them out of the way. So they are ready to go for the red paint. So I'll do, the, do that. I will max get the body mask off and get the pink primer on. The white I used uh, Tamiya's uh, new paint lacquer system, their lacquer paint system. Now that is, uh, the new lacquer system. Mixed it with Mr. Thinner and brushed it on. The other colors I am thinking of using will be, uh, for the red, I'm thinking about using Nissan Redline. And the blue, while it says Calsonic Blue, it's not actually Calsonic Blue. It's more like Nissan Championship Blue, as that is the code I gave James in the mix-up for me. But to call it Calsonic Blue, because I got what the research I was or that I thought I had found, I said that that was where Calsonic Blue came from. It's not really true, I don't believe, because it's Calsonic Blue is much darker now. So, if anybody actually happens to know what the Calsonic paint code is, let me know in the comments below. So, anyways, these are the colors I'm going to be using. Uh, the blue for sure, the red, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with red line or if I'm going to use uh, Nissan Vibrant Red. The other red I have on hand is just a little bit more wait for it, vibrant. So we'll see which red I go with. But those are the two colors I'm going to be using. Beside the white. Back to the body. So now I get the body masked off. My goal is to minimize the amount of masking I do. So once I get the pink primer on, my goal, we'll see how all this works out, is to do the red and the blue at the same time. I don't think that's going to be one of the best ideas I've ever had. It's probably going to uh, fail miserably. We'll see how that goes. I may end up changing my, changing my mind and just doing each color at a time. So with that, let's get the body masked and ready for more primer and paint. All right, body is masked and ready to get the primer and the rest of the paint on it. I'm gonna do a double check, make sure everything is good. I'm not missing anything and there's no gaps in the coverage and get to it and get the primer and the paint on it.
So as you can see, the masking tape has been removed and I think it looks pretty damn good. Um, not to get overly excited, but I'm really impressed with how it turned out. I think I did a damn fine job, if I don't say so myself. I'm just sort of really, really happy that uh, I didn't turn out or didn't have any issues or a whole or any other um, bleed through or anything that needed to be fixed. I mean, it's not perfect. There's some areas that could have been a little bit better. Not a clean separation line, if you will. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. Have a little bit of bleed through up there, a little bit of there. I mean, it's stuff that I can't that isn't easily that is not that is easily fixed, if you will. So overall, I'm really impressed with it. Um, looks pretty good. I'm really excited. I can't wait to see it in some clear coat. That's the part I'm worried about now. I'm getting excited now, but I still have to get through the clear coating stage. And hopefully hey, that doesn't muck things up because then i got to completely start over. And uh, I don't want to start over again on this one. So that is where I'm at. Uh, still have to do that stripe, that red stripe, just above the blue. I'm still trying to decide how I want to go about doing that one. Uh, but for now, it is getting closer to getting finished. It looks good. So there you can see the interior progress is slowly being made on it. Unfortunately, I didn't really do any video of me actually working on it. That's okay. Probably really don't want to see that anyways. It hasn't been turning out very good. Uh, the interior has, I mean, it looks okay, but trust me, it's not great. I pretty much fornicated the pooch on the interior, if you will. Uh, I started off uh, black, then came back with Tamiya XF. 63 which is German gray as well as the spray can version did a little bit of both don't ask me why and then uh, the gray the lighter gray is XF 54 light or dark C gray uh, What I did because masking that type of stuff with normal masking tape is kind of a pain So I use liquid mask and mask everything off uh, and then we'll focus on the interior bucket I didn't mask off the surrounding area, so I got a bunch of overspray, so I had to go back, mask off the middle parts of the seat, and then spray, do XF53 to cover up the overspray, and it was just a mess. Then some of the liquid mask pulled up some of the paint again, so it's just, it, it's going to, it is what it is. I'm not worried about it anymore. You're not going to be able to see it when it's completed, so it's, it is what it is. It's going to stay like it is. I'm not going to redo it. It's going to look like crap, and I'm okay with that. So there's the interior, getting that worked on, finished up. We're going to the dash. We need to get the uh, decals in there and I can glue the dashboard into the interior bucket. So that is where I'm at on the interior for the moment.